Let's create a group SMS application. SMS.send is going to create a new SMS and send it to this phone number. The body of the SMS is going to be the contents of the body of the SMS that was used to trigger this application. So you can see this script is going to send one message to this number and one message to this number with the same contents. Let's see how it works. So this is a little bit repetitive here. So let's change this a tiny bit and abstract the number out. And then we'll create a loop to iterate over its contents. So you can see this is going to do the same thing as the last script. We should iterate over all the members and send the contents to each of the members, regardless of how big or small this members group is. Let's give it a try. Okay, that looked like it worked as well. But what we're stuck here with is a hard-coded list of people to send group messages to. This is nice if we're going to be maintaining this all on our own but we could make this a subscription service by using the storage that's available in SwitchCoder. Let's take a look at how that would work. As you can see, what we're doing here is if the body of the sender says register, we're going to go to the storage in a database called Registrations. We're going to drop in the date and the sender's number. And then we're going to reply saying, thanks for registering. You can unregister by sending unregister to the same number. So let's implement unregister. So here we can see if the content says unregister, we're going to create a variable from the first result in storage of registrations where the SMS sender number is the same. And then we're going to remove it and reply with you have been removed. Okay, so now let's actually get to the task at hand and send a message to all the people registered to this number. So if we get any other message now, we're going to go to the storage and we're going to get all the registrations and loop through each one, sending them the contents of whatever the message was it sent us. So that seems like it should work. Let's give it a try. So the first thing I'll do is register this phone by sending a text hash register. Okay, it looks like we're registered. So now if I send a text here, whoops, I have an error in this script. It's like member here really should be that. Okay, let's save that and give it a try. And that looks like it worked. Further optimizations to the script, you might constrain the people that are allowed to text it to only the people that are registered users, but I'll leave that as an exercise for you to try. Thanks for watching and happy switch coding.